Hey, what's going on, guys? Brightkix back again. Today, I'm bringing you a new discussion video. Uh, I'll just be recapping uh, my last three months of shoes and uh, give you some of my thoughts on uh, what's coming up. First up, we have the Nike uh, Easter Pack. We have the LeBron 10 Lows, the Kobe 8s, and the KD 5s. Personally, I'm not a fan of LeBron 10s. They look pretty terrible. They remind me of the Air Max 360 uh, BB except with a dynamic flower it's basically the same shoe I'm really liking the gradient effect on the Kobe 8s but uh, I'm not a fan of the colors they chose uh, but seeing the shoe means that they can do gradient effects on the Kobe uh, mesh uh, I'm really excited if they do continue to release new colorways with the gradient effect as for the KDs I'm not really a fan either the, the swooshes look pretty cool though but I'm pretty sure uh, these will get hyped up and sold at a high retail price like the KD 4s Next up we have is the Nike Elite Pack. I'm pretty disappointed with what they did this year, unless they completely load the price. Um, if it's the same price as last year's, this is a complete disappointment because they didn't do much this year other than add uh, carbon fiber plates to add support and uh, reduce the weight and add dynamic flower to the Kobe. The biggest change comes from the KD5 flows. Uh, they added a carbon fiber shank plate on the bottom, on the the heel counter and uh, change the Air Max unit in the back to a zoom and I'm definitely interested in trying a pair here's a recap of the shoes I picked up for my last discussion video I got the zoom Revis it's a really comfortable shoe uh, the Kobe 8s actually got three pairs they got the pythons and two pairs of IDs remember to check them out if you haven't already and I also picked up the CP 3.6 I haven't actually worn them yet they're just sitting around I'm actually looking to pick up the pair of uh, CP 3.6 cloaks, or I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's the effect they have. It has a green to purple gradient effect along the upper. And um, I saw Air Jordan 28 in person. It was terrible. I don't think I could ever wear those in, on court, even if they're the most comfortable things ever. Missed out on the Royal Ones. Uh, Mellows, I tried on. It didn't have the immediate comfort like the LeBron, so I passed on them. KD5s I was not a fan of, um, I'm sure they have amazing traction, but the, the, the cushioning system just didn't work for me. And uh, last but not least, we have the Li Ning Way of Weight. I'm still waiting for my uh, Connect at Li Ning to send me a pair of those, and uh, I really want to performance test those. Last but not least, we have uh, Jordans, and uh, not nothing much on my list. Uh, I'm aiming to get the Black Toe Air Jordan 1s that are releasing and uh, maybe the Air Jordan 11 Lows in the black and white with the icy bottom. Uh, I'm still really curious on what they're going to release for uh, the holidays in December. Uh, I've seen the Air Jordan 11 Laney but I was not a fan of those. Well guys that pretty much concludes my video. If you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button and until next time have a good one see you guys